This short video shows the installation of two virtual machines, on the MacBook Pro with the Apple M1 chip, in the recently released Parallels Desktop 16.5. The first virtual machine is Ubuntu Linux and the second one is Windows 10. It is very easy to install Ubuntu Linux in a Parallels Desktop virtual machine. Only a few mouse clicks and then a download. Begin the creation of a new virtual machine, by using the new menu item. Then, from the list of free systems at the bottom of the Installation Assistant window, click on Download Ubuntu Linux. When you continue, the download will start. Let's skip ahead to when the download is almost finished. From this point on, mostly you will just do the same steps as when you installed Ubuntu Linux on a hardware machine, instead of a virtual machine. For example, you will create a password for the Ubuntu Virtual Machine. The one difference is that you will install the Parallels tools in the Virtual Machine. These tools provide the integration features, like copy and paste between Ubuntu and the Mac. Now you are done. You have installed Ubuntu Linux on your M1 Mac in a Parallels desktop virtual machine. Now let's install Windows 10 in another virtual machine. For Windows 10, there are a few additional steps, but after that, it is very similar to the installation we just finished. To run Windows 10 on an M1 Mac, you need the ARM processor version of Windows. Today, that version of Windows is only available as an Insider Preview. So, enroll in the free Windows Insider program and then go to this webpage to download the version of Windows needed for the M1 Mac. Once the download is completed, just as before, you use the new menu item in Parallels Desktop to create a new virtual machine. Instead of choosing one of the free systems at the bottom of the window, choose the large Install Windows icon, in the middle of the Installation Assistant window. Parallels Desktop will automatically find the Windows 10 installation file you already downloaded. Click the Continue buttons, and then the Create button, to begin the installation of Windows 10 into the virtual machine. Let's skip ahead to when the installation is almost finished. Now you are done. You have installed Windows 10 on your M1 Mac in a Parallels desktop virtual machine. I hope you have enjoyed this short video, showing the installation of two virtual machines on the MacBook Pro with the Apple M1 chip, in the recently released Parallels desktop 16.5. Thanks for watching.